All right, <clears throat> video I really, really hate to make. When Sarah had her stroke, blood clot, I went to the doctors over 130 miles per hour. Told them she had a blood clot and they needed to give her a shot, oxygen, and uh, and a uh, IV do a CAT scan and they did not for two hours I had her there in three minutes which usually takes um, about 20 minutes to get there I was clocked going 160 miles an hour trying to save my wife in a rainstorm and drifting around different traffic it was a very very uh, desperate attempt to save her and she went to the other hospital and uh, I got her on here with me now she went to this other hospital and she started getting a little bit better after six or seven surgeries then she developed a brain bleed and went backwards then she came out of that and I had taken her in her shrimp up there where she could eat shrimp and drank out of a straw on her own and she was happy and everything wanting to come back home with me and uh, then I told them that they were going to move her to the 6th floor and I told them don't move her to the 6th floor because if you do she'll develop another brain bleed so I, I warned them like four times so now she's got another brain bleed and this is where we're at she's got another brain bleed and she is uh, so much brain damage now there's they're telling me there's to the point of no return um, so she's still alive right now she's not on life support she's breathing on her own but her brain is severely 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 damaged that's how much more than I can bear I love you Sarah so much you don't deserve this baby girl things were supposed to be better they were supposed to get better and you were supposed to be able to come back home I don't understand I don't know how things I don't know how things are going to go from this point on but uh, at the time of this recording I'm having to worry about everybody kicking me when I'm down my uh, my grandpa's not doing good, my sister's not doing good, and my wife is in this shape, and her family is taking me to court to try to steal mine and her kid away from us, or away from me, when he hardly ever sees them. Hardly ever sees them, or, or hardly even knows them. Everything he knows is right here with me. <coughs> oh, this is killing me, people. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's not good, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not losing my grandpa, my sister, my wife, and my son. That's not going to happen. condition but not on life support and I don't know where we go from here I don't know what to do they're just watching our brain bleed and when it gets to a certain point then they can do surgery but I don't know they've already been through what about 20 surgeries now I don't know how much more I can put on her she would just keep on blinking to me that she wanted to keep on fighting and come home she wants to live more than anything in this world <coughs> this update that's uh, probably uh, I don't know, I'm having one of the worst times of my life I'll tell y'all she's my like my mother, my lover, my friend 
is everything to me. We have something very rare. But, uh, we were on top of the world and people wanted what we have. And I told her, uh, we can make a comeback if she comes back. She was smiling at me. Um, anybody watching this, y'all should know that no matter how good things seem or how wonderful things are going, your entire life can be changed in the blink of an eye. Mine is. I, uh, my whole world's turned upside down. And the fact that her family is trying to take me to court to steal my kid away from me and just it just blows my mind that people are so low down. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to Sarah and Mikey. And they're the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, I, don't know, I just wanted to give you all an update. It's not looking good. This is like telling me this is as good a shape she's gonna get right here and just 10 hours ago I was speaking to her and she was comprehending what I was saying and, and uh, communicating with me so, I'm gonna let y'all go for now I don't like what the next update's gonna be probably but I speak for me and Sarah both when I say we love all of our fans <coughs> and appreciate you all. I don't have COVID, I've just been throwing up and crying non-stop for hours. Love will kill you sometimes when you lose it, when you're losing it. Catch y'all later. Mr. Kendall. Yeah.